Hello my family members, today we will solve a coding problem that was asked in Accenture of Campus exam 2023-29 June and that is ball and box problem. It will be better if you just watch the question and solve the uh, problem yourself. If problem occurs then come to watch. Before starting I will again request you to please watch the playlist regarding previous year paper. Let's start. So the question is implement the following function int number of balls uh, the functions accepts a non-negative integer array arr of size n as its argument every k element in array is the number of balls in kth row of a box every kth row of the box needs k plus one square where zero less than equal to k less than equal to n minus one implement the function to find number of balls required to complete each row of the box and return the total number of balls required assumptions add a k less than equal to k plus one square right here k is the actually uh, a index number right so look at the note here return minus one if add a is null or none in case of python so we are going to solve the problem using java so we will obviously uh, give null right so array indexing starts from zero right so here it is a uh, sample input and output the array elements are this and the output is this so how is this output come i am explaining the number of balls in each row needs one plus k square that means k is the index number so at first zero plus one square that is one and then one plus one square that is four then two plus one square that is nine then three plus one square that is sixteen so these are the total needed balls right and a number of balls each row have this is supposed to be have in real these are present so we have to check how much actually difference between them right so number of balls each row have uh, 1 to 7 13 that means the difference between them 1 minus 1 is 0 4 minus 2 is 2 9 minus 7 is 2 and 16 minus 13 is equal to 3 right so and after subtracting them just add them all 0 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 that is 7 so the output is 7 right so i hope you have got the answer right okay let's go to the solution part so at first take the function right public static sorry int and number of balls right int array and int n right so what was our first duty our first duty was is to check if array is null or not right if array is equal to is equal to null then we have to return return minus one right and then we have to initialize a value total value that in which we will actually store the sum value right so let's say the value the variable is total right total is equal to zero and let's run a for loop to iterate from zeroth index to last index right sorry here you can take n or k as well this all are same k is equal to zero k less than equal to array length right array length and k plus plus so we will now store the values in total right so total is equal to k plus 1 square so that means k plus 1 multiply by k plus 1 right this is a square of k plus 1 right okay now just subtract the array element right this way we can have the total needed number so i hope you have got the logic right okay just now return the total variable we will be okay now so just go to the main function and just take the input of the size of the array 
and the array itself right is t equal to new scanner system dot in take the input of the size of the array n is equal to sc dot next int and int error is equal to new error int right so let's run a for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus right just add a i is equal to this way actually we are taking the input of array element i hope you know the syntax right array i is equal to sc dot next int right and just return the sorry just print the function value right so number of balls array and the size so i hope this way we can have the desired output now well, let's run the code right i think uh, there will be no issue with that so array input was 1 to 7 13 right and the size of the array is 4 so 1 2 7 and 13 so what is the output output is an error what is the error index 4 out of bounds for linked four so this is an error right uh, oh set i actually did a mistake here that should not be a equal right we have to go last index right not beyond the index so just run the code i think there will no error again so the elements were 1 2 7 and 13 and the size is 4 right so 1 2 7 and 13 so this is 7 right so this way you can solve the problem right and i don't think i have to explain briefly if you still having problem then obviously comment down i will respond obviously right and if you want to suggest me any other topics other questions other videos then obviously suggest me this is your freedom and i will give values to your opinion right okay this is all from my side today thank you